Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu. In this video, I'll show you how to migrate your Lightroom Classic catalog over to the new cloud-based Lightroom CC application. Lightroom Classic is the new name for the Lightroom program that we've been using over the past 10 years. Now, if in Lightroom Classic you've been syncing collections up to the cloud and down to your mobile devices, you probably will have found that when you open Lightroom CC, after a while, those photos appeared in this application as well. However, the cloud and Lightroom CC in that case don't have your original files. They just have the smaller compressed smart previews. In order to get your originals up to the cloud and to Lightroom CC, you'll need to either use this migration process or import them directly into Lightroom CC. We'll focus here on migrating. I'll cover migrating your entire catalog as well as migrating part of your catalog if you just want to experiment in Lightroom CC. Now, if you're coming from Lightroom 5 or an earlier version, you would need to upgrade your Lightroom catalog to at least Lightroom 6 before you can do this migration process. There is an alternative of writing your Lightroom work out to your files, which is called writing to XMP, but it does have downsides. Rather than bogging down this video with that topic, I'll refer you to the blog post where I've published this video for that discussion. Let me point out a couple things in Lightroom CC before we get started. Now when you import photos and videos into Lightroom CC, whether you add them directly with the Add Photos button or you migrate them from your Lightroom Classic catalog, Lightroom CC will make its own copy of all of those files. For this migration process to complete successfully, you have to have enough extra hard drive space for all of these file duplicates. I'll go into Preferences, Lightroom on the Mac, Edit on the PC, and choose Preferences. If you don't have enough space available on your internal hard drive for Lightroom CC's files, you can change the location to an external hard drive that has more space. Now, after Lightroom CC makes its copies and after it syncs all of them up to the cloud, then it will start removing some of the older files that it has in order to meet this disk space usage requirement. So I'm not allowing it to use more than 25% of the available disk space on my internal hard drive. Once it reduces down to this, you could change the location back to your internal hard drive if you have some space available there. Of course, if you store a copy of all of the originals locally, then Lightroom CC will need all of that space permanently. I'll cancel. Lightroom CC allows us to access our photos by date and then by way of albums that we set up. These are just like collections in Lightroom Classic. We don't have the ability, however, to access the folders on our hard drive that Lightroom CC is storing these photos in, and we can't reorganize and rename those folders. As we migrate over from Lightroom Classic, Lightroom CC is going to make its own copy of all of the photos and videos and store them wherever it wants to. It's not going to preserve our folder structure when it makes those new copies. If in the Folders panel you just have a list of dates, then you don't need to do what I'm about to suggest. But if you've added descriptions to your folders or created a new folder structure by subject, for example, and if those groupings are valuable to you, then I recommend that you translate your folder structure into collections and collection sets, because these will migrate over. Collections will become albums in Lightroom CC, and collection sets become album folders in Lightroom CC. As you're doing this, you can set up up to four levels of collection sets and then collections within them. That's how many levels will migrate over to Lightroom CC. Now I'm not going to go through how to create collections and collection sets, but I'll put a link in my blog post where this video is posted to a lesson on that topic. Now let's talk about other information that will and will not migrate over. 
any editing that you've done will migrate over, as well as your stars and your pick and your reject flags. There's no such thing as a color label in Lightroom CC. However, they will be translated into keywords. So this photo will get a keyword of red in Lightroom CC. Other metadata from Lightroom will carry over, but Lightroom CC doesn't display all of the metadata at this point. If you have custom metadata that was created by plugins that you've installed, that will not carry over. So you would want to assign keywords here in Lightroom Classic if you want to be able to use that metadata in Lightroom CC. Now keywords will carry over, but they will be flattened. Lightroom CC does not have or respect hierarchical keywords. So my three photos here will get the keywords New York, United States, North America, and location, but they'll be separate keywords. They won't be in one hierarchy. Going back to the collections panel, smart collections will not carry over. There are no rule-based collections in Lightroom CC. If you've created smart collections or if you've been using the ones that are here and you want to preserve a grouping of all of the photos that are within a particular smart collection, select them all, Control or Command A, and then create a regular collection. Now that won't be kept up to date as new photos meet the rule, but at least you'll have that initial grouping of photos. Finally, let me go to a photo that I can show this on and I'll go to the develop module. Snapshots will not carry over to Lightroom CC. Snapshots are saved points in time in your editing. If you've created any and if you want to be able to preserve that state, then I would select your snapshot and right click and create a virtual copy. Virtual copies will be carried over as new copies in Lightroom CC. The final step here in Lightroom CC would be to resolve any missing files and folders. If Lightroom Classic can't find your files, then they will not migrate to Lightroom CC. If you have folders with question marks, use the Find Missing Folder process to resolve them. I'll link to a video tutorial on that topic in the blog post where this video is posted. If you have any external hard drives that Lightroom is looking at, you'll need to plug those in. Then go up to Library, Find All Missing Photos, and Lightroom will check your entire catalog for missing files. I'll right-click on this and choose Go to Folder and Library to see where that file is supposed to be. And I'm going to make a decision in this case just to ignore it. I don't know what it is and I'm fine if it doesn't get to Lightroom CC. Now there's one more thing that you should check that I almost forgot to cover, and that's metadata conflicts. Where Lightroom is detecting that you've edited files in either two different Lightroom catalogs or your Lightroom catalog and some other program. To see if you have any issues, go to All Photographs in Grid View and then in the Library Filter Bar, click on Metadata and in the first column in the drop-down, choose Metadata Status. You're just looking for Conflict Detected. To set this example up, I went out to my hard drive and opened this file into Photoshop's Camera Raw program and made some adjustments there. I'm not seeing those adjustments in Lightroom, but Lightroom knows that those adjustments are sitting out there with the file. Now, if you have conflicts and you're not seeing this icon, you can go up to View, View Options, and check Unsaved Metadata. If you're not working with two different Lightroom catalogs, and you're not working with two programs, then you can click on the exclamation marks and choose Overwrite Settings. Or, frankly, for just the purposes of migration, you can ignore these because the migration process will take the version that Lightroom already, already has here. If the other catalog or the other program has the more up-to-date editing work, click on Import Settings from Disk. Now, again, if you don't go through this process, you'll simply get the editing that you see here in Lightroom when you migrate this catalog, which might be completely fine, but I wanted to mention this. All right. Now, if you want to migrate just a part of your catalog, then you'll need to export that part from your main catalog here. 
So if I just want these photos to go to Lightroom CC, for example, I would select this folder, select all the files with Command or Control A, and then go to File, Export as Catalog. And I'll put this on my desktop just so that I can find it. It's just a temporary file that I'm going to throw away. And I don't need to include any of these options here. Definitely not the negative files. I'll export the catalog. And I'll get back to that in a minute. If you're going to migrate your entire catalog, make sure you know what the name of it is. Lightroom CC is going to ask you this. It's a good idea also to know where it is. So go up to Lightroom on a Mac or Edit on a PC and then into Catalog Settings. On the General tab, it will show you the name of your catalog file and where it's located on your hard drive. Just make a note of that just in case you need it. Then you can close Preferences. Then you'll quit Lightroom Classic. Here in Lightroom CC, you'll go to File, Migrate Lightroom Catalog and you'll click on Continue. Now, as it says here, you can only migrate a catalog once. The idea is that you'll get it over into Lightroom CC and you'll use Lightroom CC going forward. This migration process cannot be used to support using both programs and migrating multiple times. If at some point you mess up Lightroom CC so much that you want to delete everything in Lightroom CC and start over, and migrate your classic catalog again, you'll go back to your classic catalog and export it as a new catalog, and then you'll be able to go through this process again. But that would be an exception. Syncing will be turned off in your catalog if it was turned on after this process. If you want to turn it on again, you'll need to upgrade to Lightroom Classic 7, but that's a free upgrade for Creative Cloud subscribers, so I don't see that as an issue. I'll click on Continue. Here's a list of catalogs that Lightroom CC knows that I have been in recently. This is the one that I exported, so I would choose that if I just wanted that one folder of photos to come over. This is my main one, so I'll select this one. But if the one that you want to import does not come up, go to Browse Computer and navigate to that LRCAT file and select it. If you have multiple Lightroom catalogs, for example, if you keep your landscape photos in one catalog and your portrait photos in another, which I've never recommended, you'll be able to go through this process with both or all of your catalogs. I'll start the scan. So Lightroom CC is analyzing that classic catalog. It sees how many missing originals I have. Remember, I had decided not to worry about that one missing one. This will give you a list of those files, and it also gives you more information on what it found. For example, it found 17 virtual copies. I'll start the migration. Now, if you get this message, choose Migrate Later. Then, go over to Lightroom Classic and open the catalog that you were trying to migrate. If it's your, your entire main catalog, just open Lightroom. If it's a small catalog that you exported, go find that on your hard drive double-click on the LRCAT file and open that catalog into Lightroom Classic. Then, just close Lightroom Classic. For some reason, opening and closing that catalog will resolve most of these issues. Then come back to Lightroom CC and go to File Migrate Lightroom Catalog again a second time. If you still get this message, click on Learn More. This could take quite a while, depending on how large your catalog is. I think mine had about 4,000 photos. I'm going to pause this video, and we'll pick up when it finishes. Okay, so I went and ate lunch, and when I got back, it had finished. Now, it takes a long time because Lightroom CC is making a copy of all of your files, and of course, bringing all the editing and other work across as well. The log file will tell you about anything that went wrong. We know that I had one missing file, so of course that wasn't migrated. Let's go down to the album section. You'll have an album folder that has all of the collections that carried over from Lightroom Classic, and also has an album that contains all of the photos and videos that 
it brought over. Now, these blue circles mean that this, these albums are syncing. I'll type G to go to the other grid. So all of these files now are being synced up to the cloud. Unlike Lightroom Classic, which only syncs smart previews, small compressed versions of your files, Lightroom CC syncs the full-size files. I'll go to Filtering. We'll see under the drop-down for Keywords that all of my keywords came across, and as expected, there aren't any hierarchies, but there are the individual keywords that were in the hierarchy. Now, let me go back to Lightroom Classic. As expected, syncing here in Lightroom Classic has been turned off. You can turn it back on if you wish. Keep in mind that syncing now pertains not only syncing to Lightroom Mobile and Web, but syncing to and from the Lightroom CC application. So if I were to turn this on, I would start to see in my collections panel all of the photos that I had imported directly into Lightroom CC and all of the albums that I created over there as well. Now continuing to work in both programs and having sync turned on here can create problems. Rather than get bogged down in this video on what these issues are, I'll write a separate blog post on this topic. I'm just going to say that your life will be much simpler if you choose to work in one program or the other, or if while you're playing with Lightroom CC, trying to make a decision, keep sync turned off so that you keep a wall between the two programs. All right, this concludes the lesson on migrating your classic catalog to CC. I'm Laura Shue.